Good morning. Today I'm going to be doing something different. I need a bridal shower card, so I thought I'd make one of those. And I am using this paper, one of the stickers from the sticker sheet. This is from Rustic Elegance, and it's by Echo Park. I think it was originally from um, Cartabella, but I think I got it at Tuesday morning. And I've had it for a long time. And, and I bought it not because it was a wedding one, but because it was just so pretty. <laughs> and so um, I'm actually using this paper that, and I'm using both sides. So I've already got it cut out. And I just found the envelope that I wanted, the size I wanted. And so um, I just measured that and then cut my paper like, tw well, not quite twice as wide because I knew that I was going to um, add layers. And so I made sure it was a little smaller than my paper. And I actually had, you know, tried it out and it's like, nope, it's still going to be too big. So I've actually cut it down. So that's, I just, you know, I kind of go for the size that I think it will be. And then I had to cut some off. So I'm going to use this as my background. And you can see it looks like hearts on here. And so I am going to make sure that I have the hearts upright. And I, I just love this pattern. It's so pretty. And I'm just going to, I've cut this just a little smaller than my paper or than my card. And then um, I, when I first decided to, I was going to use this having to hold. And so I thought, okay, to do that, I'm going to have to bring in some black. So that's why um, I ended up, I'm going to use black on here. And I just have a little rough edge. I don't know what with that. What's with that? I might maybe need a... Oh, I, sometimes the black isn't... You know, some, some papers just kind of sh shred a little. And this kind of has done that. And... Then I'm going to put that on here. I almost hate to cover it up because it's so pretty already. <laughs> but I, I like the design I'm, I'm working with. Okay, so I'm bringing it over to one side and just leaving like an eighth of an inch around. Looks like I got a little more than an eighth of, eighth of an inch over here. And then this flower, to me, it looks like it's kind of going this way so I'm gonna put it like this and it works out for my design that way and then I've just got it's not quite an eighth of an inch it's a little smaller because I just wanted that little bit of line around there and then I have some washi tape and this is, there's not very much on it. I bought it on Amazon. It was just like, I thought it looked elegant with the writing on it. Now I cannot, it says, I think that I shall never see a poem. I don't, I'm not sure what it says after a while. It's like, I get to where I think, oh, I can kind of read that. Oh, and then I just, I was gonna put that on too early. Okay, I'm going to use this and I'm going to put some foam behind this. Okay, and that might still be a little thicker than what I want. So I guess I'm going to use foam squares. Because I don't want it quite that thick because what that is. I'll put six. I think that should do it. I just want a little dimension in it. Okay, 
Now, um, my sister's one is seven years younger than me and the other one's nine years younger than me um, because I lost a sister in the middle. She, um, or in between me and the other sisters and um, when she was a little baby and um, like she was only six months old. So um, my children are married and have children and their children are just getting married now. So, cause they, I started younger and, and I was the firstborn. Okay, I was gonna use this washi on here, but you know what? Now that I put it on dimensionals, maybe I won't like it on there. Yeah, I think that's not gonna work. Do I wanna tuck it in? You know, sometimes you change your mind along the way. <laughs> Okay, let me see if I can kind of tuck that underneath. I don't know, I guess I really don't need it on there. Can I put it up here? No, it even sticks up there. Okay, I'm gonna nix that. Okay, so I have this and it says, so in love. I just thought that was so cute for um, a bridal shower. And I'm just going to put it to one side. Okay. And then I'll probably have to put a dimensional behind there too, one of the little ones. And where's my little... Here it is. I like this for when I stick something underneath. Okay, so I'm just going to under here okay and then I have this little charm and it's a wedding couple and it's gold plated and it was something I had bought a long time ago when we were making cards I just thought it was so cute and I found it for a really good deal and I'm gonna see if this will just stick right in the middle of it and it looks like it will. And I'm just going to stick them down here in the cluster of flowers. And then I have these crystals from Gina Marie. And this time I got a, the last time it was like multicolored ones. And this time there are these um, kind of olivey green, which is like one of my favorite shades of green. And so I'm just going to kind of put some of them here and there. Maybe three down here. And on this, if you, on this plastic, if you kind of, uh, just kind of, um, what do I want to say? Kind of wiggle it around, the sticky stays on the back. Otherwise you have to glue it. <laughs> and where do I want the other one? So how about that? And then maybe I'll stick a couple up here. Maybe over here. I kind of want to use five. Because five is the number of blessings. And it's an odd number, so I like that. Okay. And so that's it. And now um, I have some happy mail. And so... Oh, and I'll, I'm going to find, I think I'll put a Bible verse in there. And so anyhow, Connie, one of my awesome subscribers, sent me some happy mail. Um, she had seen the video where I was talking about this gingham foundry. And um, it's from who? I know. No. Is it Bo Bunny? <laughs> I don't even remember now. And it does not say on here. Oh, it probably does really small. No, it does not. Oh, my mind's eye. That's it. Okay. So the other paper I was playing with the other day was Bow Bunny. Okay. So anyhow, she must have seen that video and she told me that she had picked up, I think she said packs of 25 each and she wanted to send me some. And I have to tell you that now I have so much of this that next, 
I think in January I'm going to do this for my collection obsession. And I just love it. There, I think there might be one paper in here that I hadn't had before. But it's like, you know, it's like I just love it. It's, it's blue. It's got flowers. It's got gingham. It's like what's not to love about this. I just love it. So there's the floral, the front and the back, and and then here, I think maybe I didn't have this one before, but I think I might have actually purchased one. And then the gingham, and then this, it's like a fern leaf. And I mean, that's just gorgeous by, it, by itself. And I don't think I had this one either, because I didn't actually know that this one was in the collection. And this one, they called it Sunday Best. And I didn't know they all had little names either. So that's really cute. Oh, and it's got this stripe. Huh, I kind of remember that. I just didn't remember the other words. And I actually have three of those. But otherwise, I think she gave me two of everything that she had purchased. And this one here, and it's got the gold on the other side and the dots that are blue. And another floral, and maybe I didn't have this one either. And maybe this one I didn't have, because I don't remember this one at all. And then it's got the stars. This is the other same side as, or same paper as that one. And then the flowers. So there you go. And. Thank you, Connie. You know, I love it. And yeah, I'm going to do this in January. I think this would be a gorgeous paper to use in January when it's chilly. It'll give me warm thoughts <laughs> and it'll still be kind of that crispy. I don't know. See, I, when I think of winter, I think of blue and maybe because it's my favorite color, but when I was little, um, I would sit in the living room. Yeah, I lived in Wisconsin, so it was cold. But like at Christmas time, there was always snow. Anytime after, anytime during, you know, during Halloween or after, there was snow until, you know, March, April, whatever. <laughs> and um, so anyhow, it's like um, you would look out the window, and back then you didn't have so much travel, and that snow would be fresh and no tire tracks in it at all and I just remember the light hitting it just always um, made like a blue cast so I always think of winter and white and blue so that's I thought this would be perfect for January and January is where this when this wedding is too so that I'll probably have some photos from that so thank you for watching and have a wonderful day, and I'll be back tomorrow with something else. Bye-bye.